Good morning, everyone. And for a little while now, I've been looking at God's timing and how he leads our path and and how he shows us the way. And and in my search for these things, I've, I've come across um, this proverb, and I've read it before, but it means something different now. 27 verse 1, Proverbs 27 verse 1. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Again, I am at a place with my 16-year-old daughter who turns 17 soon, and we've got to start looking at universities and courses that she might want to take. And we've got to sift through her interests and match them to her her uh, capabilities like her marks at school and then match that also to her interests and uh, and then match it to courses because you can want to do this but you might have to do this and this and this and this to actually achieve that um, and I thought it was going to be easier with this child because she has a very definite idea of who she is and she's a very definite idea of the path she wants to take but it actually isn't because she doesn't want to just become a microbiologist or a a, a farmer because that's one of the things or a meteorologist. I mean, she wants to be a little bit of everything. And I, I know that she wants to somehow make an impact on her world around her. And she has an incredible sense of justice and of truth and what it should be. But it's for her difficult to pick something out of a list of courses that the local university offers because she's not even sure she wants to do that. And so it's very difficult for her to start her path. She also wants to not be studying for the rest of her life. I haven't told her the secret. It actually doesn't work like that. But I think what she's aiming at is getting a degree and then working beyond that and studying what she needs to after. But we shouldn't boast about tomorrow because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. Tomorrow I'm going to go and buy the most expensive pair of shoes I can find because I'm expecting money to be paid into my bank account. What if I can't pay that money? What if that money isn't paid or just as bad, less than what I expected? What then? Only God knows what tomorrow brings. Only he brings our path together. Again, we work so hard for a certain outcome. And we have a timeline set in our minds for that outcome. But there are so many things in play to get an outcome that we can just do what he set before us to do. And the rest we have to leave up to God. And then, difficult thing, most difficult thing, we have to think to ourselves, oh goodness, now we've got to wait. Or, oh goodness, this is what God has said. It's not what I expected. It's really not what I thought I wanted. But now I've got to live with it and then somebody will say well that's why I don't want to be a Christian because you just got to live with what God says the point is that God actually knows better and it's about it's not just about building a, 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 a physical future you know with a pension and money and cars and, and whatever it's actually about most important to him is about feeding our spirit building our spirit and building our character because strength of character is so much more um, useful than a bank balance. Not all of us will agree on that. And I have had, you know, people have said that to me before and I roll my eyes. <laughs> strength of character. Who are you? And what do you do worthwhile for God's kingdom? Interesting. So God knows tomorrow. You don't know. Don't boast about tomorrow. Enjoy what God brings, whatever it may be. Expect God's idea of what your life should be. Think about it. And we'll speak again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.